There's no such thing as replacement eyes. So it's very important to think carefully about protecting them at every stage of the tasks you have to do. Some of the things we're about to say may be obvious, but failing to pay attention to just one of them could have disastrous results. There are four main causes of eye injuries, and they're all avoidable. First, cutting or grinding jobs tend to throw off small particles, which can fly straight through inadequate eye protection masks and goggles. So always wear the correct protection and make sure they have side shields. Next, don't risk striking your eyes with objects or hand tools. Again, wear the correct protection and be aware of your surroundings and any likely hazards. Third, there are dangerous substances such as molten metal, acids, fumes and dust. Don't let them anywhere near your eyes. Once again, wear the right protection and don't rub your eyes with dirty hands. And fourth, don't expose your eyes to radiation such as welder's flash, lasers or excessive heat. Before you start work, make sure your machine has the necessary guards and screens, that you're wearing the right protection for that particular job and you know where the nearest first aid equipment and eye wash stations are. We've been stressing the importance of wearing goggles and other eye protectors. Lots of injuries are caused when a person lifts them to take a closer look at the work. Never do that. Keep them on all the time. There are different types of protection for different jobs. For work involving chemicals, you need safety goggles and a face shield. You get protection against heat damage or impact injuries by wearing safety glasses or goggles and a face shield. For optical radiation, there are specially filtered goggles or a special helmet. And for the more common problem of dust, you need safety goggles. And whenever you're wearing safety glasses, they should always have side shields. If you do get injured, don't under any circumstances rub your eyes. If it's a chemical splash, take out your contact lenses immediately. And if something actually gets stuck in your eye, don't try to pull it out yourself. You must act quickly. Flush your eye immediately with clean water, for as long as possible, and get medical help. Are you prepared?